Hi, I'm Garrett from Crust, and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about my signature frame, the Wombat. The Wombat is a rigid single speed mountain bike. Its geometry kind of leans more towards like a, almost like an 80s ATB style. It's uh, got a high bottom bracket and a short rear end, and the idea behind that is to make it easy to get off the ground and then once you're off the ground in the air it's easy to whip around and stuff. I wanted something that was fairly nimble uh, just coming from a BMX background. I like to ride my bike places and then ride the thing when I get there like whether it be a skate park or a set of jumps or whatever. Um, the geometry is a little slacked out but it's not so slack that it's lazy. It's just enough to make it so if you're bombing down some like cliffside chunky single track, it'll be nice and stable, but then when you get to the hairpin at the end of the single track, you'll be able to make the turn no problem. In terms of rack mounts, the Wombat is fairly stripped back uh, on the frame. You don't get any. You just get two mounting points for your rear fender and then uh, three bottle cage mounts, one on the bottom of the down tube and then one on the top of the down tube, one on the seat tube. And then the fork, I kind of thought of it as like, kind of like a, the lightning bolt fork or something where you'd run maybe like a fobs chest with a pec deck or like a small front rack. And then on the sides, there's a spot to mount a three pack cage like the King mini thing cage or the wide foot cargo mount. And then it also has fender mounts as well. So you could take it on a small tour or you know an overnighter or whatever. The Wombat takes a 27.5 inch wheel. Uh, it was designed with about a 2.6 inch tire in mind. You can fit up to a three inch on the front and a 2.8 inch on the back. If you're looking for like a speedy cross country style setup though, I really like the Ultra Dynamico Mars a lot for this bike. In terms of a braking scenario, the Wombat is a rim brake only, no disc tabs to speak of. I think a V brake will perform just as well as any disc brake in 99% of scenarios you'll end up in on this bike. It comes with internal dropper routing. It just runs down the bottom of the down tube. There's a nice little clamshell mount that you can take off if you don't want to run a dropper, or you can also use that routing to get fancy and throw some gears on this if you must with a problem solver's derailleur hanger chain tensioner thingy. Uh, the seat tube is 27.2. Around the time we started talking about doing this bike, I had been riding a 27.2 dropper for a couple of years and I noticed it seemed like there was a little surge in options coming up on the market. So we went for it. We did 27.2 and I don't regret it. I think it's great on this bike. And then if you don't wanna run a dropper, you don't have some big old honk in 31.6 seat post sticking up out of the top of this thing. Now for the deep nerd stats. The Wombat is handmade in Taiwan out of heat treated chromoly. It's fully TIG welded. It comes in four sizes, either 17 inch, 19 inch, 21 inch, or 23 inch. And those are all measured via the seat tube. It comes in either a nice metallic deep blurple or it comes in this nice HRC red, which is sort of a red orange. It's a homage to old 80s Honda factory race bikes. And the spacing is 100 mil in the front and 135 in the rear. And that's it. If you have any experiences with the Wombat already that you'd like to share or you have any questions or comments you can of course leave them in the comments below or you can give us a shout at 804-442-3710. Thanks for watching.